Hi everybody, it's John Seville from Acorn Wealth and this is your executive summary for tomorrow. Um, if that makes sense. <laughs> so look, let's have a look at the open range. Um, we have uh, we've closed higher than the open range yesterday. Uh, we have uh, closed higher still today, so everything is looking fairly uh, bullish for the moment. It's kind of a bit of a wonky market. But uh, there are uh, some excellent trading opportunities in both directions. Uh, let's take a look firstly on the short side. If we have a look at IMAX. Now this is one that uh, one of our uh, actual uh, coaches, Greg, found today. Um, and uh, Karen, also one of our students, found this also. So excellent, uh, uh, excellent pick, Karen. And uh, you can see here we've got the very divergent money flow, which is exactly what we want to see. And uh, you can see that we've also broken down out of the channel, which is also what we want to see, because stocks generally break down uh, beneath the, well, the opposite the direction of, the, of what the channel was moving in. We've also got a potential head and shoulders pattern here. So let me, if I can be so brash as to speculate what would possibly happen here? We've got left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and then an extension of here to here would take us down from here to here, basically. So we're looking at a move, what is that, 31.50 to 30. So we're looking about a $1.50 drop. So yeah, down to that 28.50 mark, which is also where support was. So this is a um, very interesting potential trade setup uh, of, a, um, of a drop down to this 28.50 um, level. Now, um, but behind IMAX is also some uh, insider selling. So if we go on to our friends at Insider Cow, there you'll see some uh, resizable chunks from the CEO, Executive Vice President, Bradley Washler, if I'm saying that correctly. Anyway, you can see across the board, broad-based broad selling of some reasonable chunks. So um, we have the insiders, we have the pattern, we have a uh, longer-term um, uh, bearish and short-term bearish, so uh, I like IMAX on the short side. Uh, what else have we got on the short side? We have LAMR. I actually found this in tonight's stock um, scanning class. And uh, this company has uh, just been uh, on a roll, up from 43 up to 53. But this has insider selling as well. Um, if we go back and have a look, uh, here's LAMR. Um, yeah, so there's your selling across the board. Um, oh, it's not so broad based, but you can see right recently, uh, 1.1 million and 237,000 at the price of $50. Just check the institutionals. Institutions are okay. So yeah, um, basically we're looking at the $50 price where they've been taking a chunk out. Very bearish closing on all these candles. Possible double top. Divergent money flow. Uh, what I'd be waiting for on this uh, on this one though is a, is a break. Uh, of this momentum. You can see that there's power behind this. It's a momentum stock. But if we can break below this uh, support level, the, the uh, low of this candle back here, which is 52.80, if we can break that with some volume, could be a nice little short and uh, breaking the back of that momentum and heading south. So LAMR I like. Uh, and the final one on the short side that I found was Grub. Rubber dub dub. Um, this stock Grub looks like a bearish uh, head and shoulders. If you have a look, this is a bit messy back here, but uh, look at the head and shoulders pattern that's uh, possibly uh, formed itself out. Again, it's a little bit messy, but certainly um, has the comings of that uh, kind of very predictable pattern. Now, um, I've done it this way because I've looked at the gradient of the line of some certain turning points we've had here, here, and here. And if you match that gradient uh, with this turning point, um, this, uh, these candles here, and this high, this kind of whipsaw, uh, that's kind of how we get that line. It is, again, a little bit choppy, but um, this stock basically deals with takeaway food and, uh, well, I guess home delivery takeaway food. And, uh, you know, doing great. IPO, they, they were on they were on a roll from uh, this low here of 30 bucks up to a high of 44. And then Amazon came in and started a competing service, which is uh, set to take a really big dent in uh, competitors like this business. Now, um, uh, I guess what we saw is that uh, the insiders appear to have agreed with that statement because we have seen a um, fairly, uh, uh, fairly big seller from some, and some big chunks of some important people uh, right up these uh, highs of $40 uh, recently. Well, not, not, not last month, but recently. So um, 
that's something to take note of. And uh, we do have a buy, however, on the other side from Price T Rose. So there's a little bit of conflicting there. But uh, if we, this is something that's kind of worth watching for a few days. I mean, if this breaks thirty-two dollars, we could be seeing prices back down to twenty-two. So um, there it is. That's what you've got on the short side that I found in the scan. Uh, AGCO was the long, and uh, AGCO uh, got a lot of insider buying. So we've got some uh, some cool stuff here. Um, one insider sale, but other than that, a lot of insider buying uh, all the way through. Basically, tons of accumulation going on between 44 and 45 and 46. Uh, a lot of buying going on there. Look at the institution there. You can see uh, um, there's that accumulation pattern happening. And uh, of course, we've got the uh, uh, this 44, 42, 44 price. That's where we're at right now. Price is going down. Money flow is going up. We've seen that pattern emerging since basically back here, which is uh, so accumulation has began since basically July, and. We've got a, a, a downward channel, and of course you know that I like buying downward channels because they revert to the opposite side, so uh, up. And we've also got this kind of uh, very strong support level, it seems, at 42. So all in all, there seem to be some, uh, some very healthy things here. Um, so I'll be looking to either try and capture that somewhere between 42 and 43 tomorrow, or waiting for it to break the channel and uh, I'm buying it on the, uh, on the breakout. So those are the two ways I'm looking to trade that. And um, I don't hold that a position in it yet, or any of the other stocks. So just double check. Don't hold a position in any of those stocks yet, but those are what I'm looking at for my uh, possible trades tomorrow. Um, yeah. So in terms of a target, I'd be looking for this to uh, ideally, if it can, we can pick it up at 42, I'd be looking to start taking some uh, profit off the table here at 46, or at least updating the stop loss. But uh, ultimately, there's a lot of accumulation happening. This could uh, see its way all the way back up to the $50 price. So. There you have it. That's the executive summary. Make sure you like our YouTube channel, like our Facebook, and we get these updates all the time. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy trading.